Hey there. We were minutes away from my mate Andy taking on the Demolition Derby. The crowd were on the edge of their caravans. Don't cry. I certainly don't stop crying. Said. This is, this is going to be quite, quite the race, Ham. Yep. Making his way in to the arena, the number 18, Pete Harvester, Canberra. Andy from South Melbourne, Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, they call him the Harvester Harvester. He eats other harvesters for breakfast and then will eat an even bigger tractor. Bow down before him. All other harvesters leave now. Always good to go in low key, I reckon. Andy, of course, doing some stretching moves, making sure he's all limber and ready to go. Here we go. Heat number two underway. Right off the bat, Andy getting the taste of what it's like here. But giving it right back though. Oh, oh, oh. Protect your rear, Andy, protect your rear. You have an amazing rear. Amazing. You've got to protect that rear. He's still running. He's still okay. Bang. Oh, there went the other side, Andy. Oh, that was such a good move. No, you're not going anywhere. Back and forth. Andy's still moving a little bit. Local redheads were devastated. I was immobilized. You'd let down yourself and the whole of Australia. Well, I think that's a bit much, but yeah, we had to assess the damage. What's your first thoughts here, Cal? Well, the back end is gone. Is it bad? No, I've never seen a rear end bent like that. It seemed the end of the road for Peter Harvester, Canberra. <laughs> Brian went on to finish sixth in the demolition. Chad went on to finish the rest of that mountain of beers. Josh never managed to give us those T-shirts and Hamish and Andy were never seen again.